that's very adorable back here at the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where we just finished the Goron City quest, and we have 131 shrines. Just feel like reminding everyone, because that's a nice number. On that note, um, I did a bit of counting off camera at some point, and I believe we actually have a hundred, exactly 100 of those are ones on the ground, and then 32 are them in the sky. And while I was counting, I noticed a disheartening disparity between the number of sky shrines we have elsewhere and then the ones we have in the Elden Sky. It's like, there are a bunch of little islands here, but where are them shrines? Huh? They're not here. Astonishing. <laughs> but anyway, it feels like there's gotta be like a shrine on like one of these little rocks or something uh, uh, subsequently. I could be wrong, but I wanna check that out only after we uh, go and talk to everyone in Goron City, cause look, we fixed it. It's slightly fixed now. It's marginally better. It's a lot better. So let's go talk to everyone and see what kind of quests they've got for us and stuff. Uh -huh. I remembered something about that other Zelda. When we were mining Nor Marbled Rock Roast on the north side of Death Mountain, she said something kind of funny. She told me not to go near the Lizard Lakes, but she didn't say why. I'm mm -hmm. surprised to hear the words Lizard Lakes coming out of your craw. Don't hear much about them lakes coming these days. I still recall an old nursery rhyme about them. Well, hey, we know well that every nursery rhyme ever in this kingdom is actually true. So let's hear it. One brother hunts what the other brother hides. Two lizards fighting over what's inside. Not everyone knows this, but the Lizard Lakes are also called the Lizard Brothers. I searched high and low for them back in my younger years. I always thought treasure must be there somewhere. Then on my hunt, Death Mountain blew his top. It was covered in lava before he could say boom. Oh, I'd forgotten all about my search for the lakes. That's it. <laughs> Talking about this has me all worked up. It's been a real long time, but I'm ready to start the hunt again. Best place to start looking is halfway up Death Mountain. My hunt's way back when led me to the north side. There's a Unobo Code dig site there too, so we can hop in a minecart and get cracking. Come on, Rick. I ain't can back. But they said it, it's between where their two, like, where their heads are facing, I guess. So that would put it somewhere around here. That's neat. But like I was saying, mostly what we're doing, we're not uh, gathering these quests to do them all right now. We're just gathering them to have them for the EX playthroughs so that we don't have to, like, go doing all this talking to people then. Oh. Hey, Link. I've been cracking my skull trying to remember anything that might help clue us in on Princess Zelda. But so much of my memory is a blur from when I was wearing that weird mask. I did recall one thing, though. Oh. When we were my... All right. Oh, yeah. Got it. So it's because she didn't want, uh, he you didn't want them getting into the, that treasure that's there, apparently. Howdy! Travelers like us gotta keep marching forward day and night. Thank goodness it's safer out here now, so we can travel at any time of the day without fear. I'm glad I made it to Goron City, but jeez, who knew fire resistant clothes would be so expensive? My girlfriend's waiting for me at Woodland Stable, so I have to make my purchase and head back fast. I believe we met your girlfriend at some point, didn't we? Otherwise, I'll just say I was dragging my feet again. We have, uh, the treasers in the armor chest plate, but we don't have the helm, is that right? Yeah. May as well get that now for the uh, later on set bonus that'll be, since we have all this extra money now. Oh. Thank ya. Because even though we probably don't need all the armor for 100%, I want it. Hey there, folks! So strange. The marble rock host just up and vanished. Sometimes the strangest things happen. But the city's bustling again, and leaving the work at the end to that younger Goron means we've got time on our hands now. Maybe we should take a vacation, huh? Ooh, let's go somewhere we can really see the moon. I'm thinking about the place we were born, Trey. Remember how the full moon shone on the ground there? Oh. How could I forget? It was quite a sight. Going back there's a great idea. But what with the lava flows, the area's gotten confusing to navigate. I don't remember where it is. I'll follow you on this one, Vulcan. Uh oh <laughs> I was counting on you to remember how to get there, buddy. Full moon? <gasps> Eavesdropping, were ya? Gorons are born of the land, you see. Vulcan and I were born from the same place, so you could say we're rock brothers. Ah. We were born in a cave, but the full moon shone so brightly, lighting up the darkness of the cave, it was a mystical thing to see. I remember thinking it was weird that it was the middle of the day and not night. I was just a baby, but I still remember it. Mm. The only other thing I recall is that it was somewhere at Lake Verona in Elden Canyon, but that's it. Oh. My memory's all fuzzy. Uh, Vulcan, can you remember anything else? Ah. Um, oh. It's no use. Nothing's bringing it to mind. Maybe if I could see a picture or something that shows the full moon shining on the ground. Maybe I'll just stare at a map until I remember or something. Moon gazing Gorons. Bet the moon would be a delicacy for them. Um, a uh, picture of the full moon shining on the ground during daylight. And somewhere in Lake Verona and Elden Canyon. Uh, so Elden Canyon is like up he here, right? No. Where's Elden Canyon? Oh, it's over here. Right, okay. Yet another interesting quest that I can't wait to do at some point, but uh, I'll leave it to it now. This is the inn. Cool, so I don't think we'll need any new and special quests in there. I do like the Goron City in this place. Oh, look, there's a big old Goron Ruby there. Ah, the general store. Yes, let's grab some uh, bits and bobs as we're here. Sugar! Goron Spice! Firefruit Nero's we can do without. Cheers! What I want now is... 
Savak. Oh, sorry. Savak is an expression where I'm from. It means good day. Although kids these days shorten it to Sava. I'm Romela. I'm a jeweler from Gerudo Town in southwestern Hyrule. The ore that Yunoboko handles are high quality, so I always travel here to procure them. But at the moment, there aren't any available here. I don't suppose you have any amber, do you? Uh, to, do I ever? I'll buy ten pieces of amber for 200 rupees. You <laughs> have Sokso. Oh, sorry. Uh, Sokso is another expression where I'm from. Means, thank you. Kids these days shorten it to Sok. That was very helpful. I'll buy ore from you anytime. Though, keep in mind that I'm often looking for different ore at different times. So check in with me ever so often to see what I'm looking for. Hey, well, thank you! So that was 10 for uh, so 20, 20 rupees per amber, which is better than this uh, price you get at the... Here, right? For amber? Yeah, you get it for 10 here. So we got... we got It's double the price if you sell it to her. Wicked. I bet it's the dead, same for the other gems. Maybe not double exactly, but probably a better price. Thank you very much! Buy all the sapphires here. It's cool that they added that as a thing. You, like, you can buy the gemstones from them here, because that feels right as a Goron city. No one in here at the moment. Half off on the diamonds, you say. So I guess they're normally 2,000? Or is that, was that they, what they were when everyone was all possessed? Maybe. As with nearly every other city, though, that we've uh, spent time gathering quests in, I already feel like I've almost covered it all of it. It, lo it looks a lot bigger than, than it is in terms of, like, because they're, it, like, it looks huge, but there are only actually, like, five or six buildings in the end. But we haven't just spoken to you, that's for sure. Yeah! Master Rohan, please let me try making the motor break here again! You've got some gall, kid. After he up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock roast, what's it? I'm done with you. you know, I've got no excuses, but I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker. First, let me prove myself, please. If it's still no good, then you can be done with me. Well, you've got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something. But with that materials, how do you intend to do this? No need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Since you spent all our material funds on marble rock roast, we're dried up. We don't have money or materials. Uh, I, I'll just uh, do something about that. <laughs> so that's how we can get our, ourselves a, uh, a boulder breaker. But I haven't got a couple crusher on me. But we surely found one or two. Did we find like in, in the chest or something like that? Ah, hot springs got to refresh you a little bit. I'm not sure I would like one while already in a hot climate. That's like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. I could go for a hot spring when it's like a nice cold area. The young Gorons are back to work, and minecart land was completed safely. I think it's about time I retire and tour some hot springs. I suppose I'll start with Goron hot springs. Actually, maybe I'll go farther than that. Maybe I'll take a peek at Simmerstone Springs. Goodbye. The water here sure is nice. Nothing beats soaking in the sunshine. Glad to hear you're having a good time of it. Now, Traveler, that's your daytime soak. You should head to minecart land. It's Nobuko's masterwork. Of course, I helped build it too. Once you leave the city gate, head straight down the road and you'll see it on your left. When I'm feeling better, I intend to have a good time there myself. Minecart land was so fun! <laughs> I knew Jango would make it the best! Oh. oh yeah, I remember now. You're the stranger. <laughs> well, um, Minecart land is open now, so it isn't a secret anymore. Jango made it a fun place where you can go zoom! I just went! It's so fun. Ah. Uh, that sounds like a thing for another day. But definitely a thing for some day. Well, surprising myself, that might be about all we have to do here. There are probably one or two buildings I'm missing. I think this is the mayor's house, but Bluto is obviously not in right now. He was around at uh, the front gate. Someone last curse you like- Oh, here you go. All the way for this? Oh, hey. You're in Goron City for a bit of sightseeing, too? If so, you've got some perfect timing. Up until recently, the Gorons were acting real weird. You could barely even hold a simple conversation with them. The second those strange red stones vanished, well, they came right to their senses. Good news is I can finally go looking for Simmerstone Springs, which is why I came here in the first place. The second time you've heard about it. Simmerstone Springs? Uh. Don't tell me you never heard of Simmerstone Springs. What? Really? Uh... I mean, if I'm being honest, I guess I don't really know much about the place either. I just know there's a secret hot spring somewhere called Simmerstone Springs somewhere near Goron City. Ah. But, well, I guess that's what makes it a secret hot spring. Only those in the know know about it, you know? What I think I'm going to do is try to talk to some hot spring buffs at the not secret hot springs. See if they know where it is. Hmm. I suppose Goron Hot Springs is a good place to start. Maybe look it up on a map later. Yeah, I think those are the ones that are a bit more uh, out of town, aren't they? Yeah, like right over here. Interesting. So we've got Simmerstone Springs as its own full quest there. So it's a secret hot spring, which presumably means it has some benefit over the normal hot springs. Like maybe it also bumps your stamina or something. How curious. Definitely something to keep in mind. And fortunately, Link has a superb memory because he writes things down. No one in here? Very good then. I think it's time for us to be off. I say we head straight up to the islands in this sort of area. Oh yeah, that one looks important, does it? Actually, but just before we do, I do would I kind of would like to go find an, a rock octorock and try out uh, un, uh, undecaying our, uh, our, our, our decayed stuff. I'm going to guess it doesn't do it, because that seems like... Because, like, the rusty weapons 
in the previous game, it was like you could bring a rusty weapon from a rusty one to a knight's broadsword or a soldier's broadsword, or maybe, maybe sometimes a royal one. And it's like, oh, that's neat, but like, it's not really. It's more of like, a, oh, that's neat. If I found, some, if I have some spare rusty weapons around, I can do something with them. Less than like a, something you really spend time doing because it's much more efficient than just going and finding the weapons yourself. So I assume they wouldn't make it like exponentially more powerful in this game by making it so that it uh, helps you with the decayed weapons. But I could be wrong. So I'm going to go off into the mountains looking for one for a bit. And then I'll go up to the mountains above uh, and try and find some... Uh, uh, the, the islands above, rather, and see if I can find a shrine up there or two. Because it seems like there should be something right in this Elden Sky region. And then I was thinking we wouldn't uh, necessarily go back to Pura, you know, right away. She's probably got some... She's busy. She's got lots of paperwork and stuff to do. All right. It's going to tell us Yunobo can join us. Oh, that'd be so fun to have four... Four spirits with us. Hey there! Oh, there's a rock out rock. Okay, perfect. Look at our little squad! Oh, so many friends we have now. Just gonna huck this thing over there, and, uh... It'll, that's right in front of it, so when it starts inhaling here, it should suck that up. Yup! And it chews it, and then... No! You, you guys, please! Uh, oh, okay, interesting. It, it rejigged the, um, the special effect on it. I, I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen either. Hang on, maybe I should just turn turn them off for a moment. Poof! Be gone! Thanks. So you can find another one, because maybe if I had let, let, let it long enough, it would also have undecayed it. I'm gonna guess not, but just just let's be sure. Anyway, like I was saying, um, and then after that, I think we'll power around in the Death Mountain here for a bit and uh, try and get a bunch of shrines. I know I was all, oh, we won't be using um, the, the Death Mount too much. We'll try and find some ourselves. And, and now I'm sort of going back on that. But I, I think I'm probably just going to follow the Death Map to find all the shrines in this place when we're doing that. Because we know, like, that's what it's for. That is what it's for. <laughs> I can already see, like, one, two, three that we don't have here. And then one, two, three, four here. So we've got plenty to search for in this area. Uh, I have some questions, though. Spiny Bone is plus seven. Neato. How about a whole minecart? Plus one. <laughs> ah! Oh, it also fixed up the durability on this, did it? I must have done. So anyway, uh, to the Octorok. Then we'll search around some of the islands that are nearby here. And then uh, after all of that, we'll carry on to the actual normal shrine-seeking ventures. And I doubt we'll be able to get all seven of the ones in the, that I just pointed out in this sort of Death Mountain region in uh, one episode. So it'll probably be a few episodes we're hanging around in Death Mountain here, which is fair enough because it's been... Uh, we've basically been avoiding it the entire rest of the playthrough to save it for this uh, story quest that we just finished. Oh my god, I never noticed how you can see through through the yellow bits that are that are rewinding, you can see the actual colors of the world. That's cool. Like you could see you were able to see the sunset through the, the yellow part of it. Very cool effect. Nice, I can do without. Hello, Stelnox. You seem to be sleeping, so I'll just put a skull there. Man, these rock rocks are hard to find. In other places, those they pop up all over the place. Now that I'm tracking them. Um, is that a blood moon or is there something else other else horrible going on? Oh no, it's a blood moon. Cool. Well, I guess if it's a blood moon, I could go back to where uh, we just killed one and find it again. Love it when this blood moon goes behind islands. It looks really cool. Gives it a bit of a Castlevania vibe. Ah, found one. Oh, there you are. All right, all right. We're gonna try this again, and no one's gonna kill you mid. Oh, I should have a shield on. Sorry. <laughs> I remember how that goes. Ow. Okay, certainly doesn't undecay it, but it, it re-rolls its uh, random buff, so that's neat. Wait, meaning if I put this on it, it'll get a buff? Is that a thing? Please don't just eat it. Ah, okay, there's no need for that, is there? I guess it already has to have a buff on it. So, like, I could get the long throw off this thing and get something I actually want. Is that what that means? Huh. Or does it have to not have anything on the end of it, I guess. I sort of assumed that, which is why I took this one, something off this thing the first time, but... Uh, let's test that theory, even though... Oh, no, I've got to put a very good uh, line on the thing on this. Let's test it with this one. Um, so... This thing here, it won't eat that. Because uh, it's got something on it, is that the idea? But if I were to uh, destroy that and then drop it, it'll... It will do that. Oh! Calm down! <laughs> Wait, where'd the halberd go? Okay, there we go. Or is it that it only does one in it? Oh, okay, no, it's like it's only one one per Octorok. They get wise to it after after the first time. I see. Well, then let me try and get a, a special effect on the Gloom Sword with that other Octorok. I, it's either an RNG thing or it's like there's a special set of rules. Like it must have nothing forged on it. It must also be slightly below durability, or it's just a thing of like after the first time they get wise to it and they stop trying. They stop helping you. Wow, man, those Bacoblins are just wandering around right beside town. That's really unnerving. I love how they're just having a conversation over there. 
I think it was a thing, at least in one place in uh, Breath of the Wild, where if you talked to people during a blood moon, they were all weird, and like their text was all red and Ooh. unusual. Should have taken advantage of the moment to took some stuff, but I didn't. Wait, what's actually in the minecart here? Oh, it just that those rocks are part of it, I guess. Anyway, that the Coblins, uh, Octorok is back, so let's go try about uh, see about getting a, a special effect on this Lionel Reaper here. But indeed, it does not seem to undecay them, which is the main thing I was trying to reason out here. Yep. Oh, it's give, doing something to this. And ah, I would like that, please. Oh, give it attack up. Sick. Okay, cool. So you can do it with uh, any old weapon. It's just that uh. They get wise to it after a time. Do they? It was it was it two times? You had to do it before they get wise, or was it only one? Yeah, it seems to be just the one. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'll be going now. I'll have my mates back. Boink, 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 boink. Let's get out of here. Very neat. I would not have. I don't think we, we actually. We, I'm, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not even sure if that was a that that might have well have been a thing in Breath of the Wild, and I just didn't know. I knew about them unrusting the rusty ones, but. I didn't realize they could re-roll uh, the boons. Anyway, off to the sky we go, and then uh, after that we can finally get back to tr uh, tracking shrines on our depths map like a normal person. I should wear the Zone Knight armor. In spite of my sassings, it is oh, even a marginal help is still a help. And let's get off tracking you to tracking Shrine of Light. Oh yeah, and Unobo rides along with us while we're doing one of these now. That's pretty wicked. Gives us a way to attack from our vehicle if we are uh, uh, trying to attack mid-flight because... We can't let go of the steering wheel. So there's some plank plonk but it's probably telling us about the ones on the ground. Yeah, it is, because there's a plank plonk And I wanted to... I did want to very thoroughly investigate the skies around this area first. Starting with you. A lot of these look like just those little islands that they bring you... That the recall rocks bring you to. Okay, so I guess... He he gets aimed in at, like, wherever your the velocity of your vehicle is pointing. Okay, let's see if I can get this one. Oh, it's moving so fast. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh. Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> nice one, Yonobo. Oh, wow, he goes far. Oh, and, you, and he picks up all the loot for you, too. Uh, yeah, okay. And landed. And now I can actually uh, fend them off myself. Don't have to rely on my friends for it. Mighty Zone Spear, I'm good without. We've got room for more bows, we have. That's interesting. I guess it's sort of, once they're at the same attack power, it's sourced by durability, because... It goes Demon King's Bow, then Mighty Lionel Bow, then Demon King's Bow, even though I've sorted it here. Anywho, uh, whoa, 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 stop flying so fast. <laughs> and, uh, uh, here, there we go. Oh no, I guess you always get their loot if they die way far away. Or maybe that's a thing that I can, that Tulin uh, lets you do or something. Because he usually shoots enemies uh, from very far away. Anyway, like this island over here definitely seems like it has something important on it, right? Like it's the most, it's the least nondescript island in this whole area, save this one, which I think we already did. It was a uh, Flux Construct, right? So if we're missing uh, a Sky Island in, in Elden anywhere, it's on this thing, I reckon. It's, it's a little bit of a shame that he, he uh, shoots where you're facing it. Would, like, it would be nice to... Oh no, it does go with the camera. Okay, you, so you can't actually aim it, to, to a degree. It's like the up and down is, is based on your velocity, but... But the left and right, you do actually aim. Okay, that's kind of neat. And it is pretty impressive that they were able to do that in spite of you being able to create any air-based vehicle uh, you can think of, really. They may Oh, I really should have done that a little better. Oh, <laughs> That's the one way I should not have let that fall. Okay, this might still be a way to save this. Hang on, did it, it fall off? Did it stay up there? Oh my god, that's like the worst outcome if so, because if it fell off, then I could recall it back up. Either way, there's no shrine blinky here. So if there is a shrine here, it'll take some doing. And I'm not sure there's much saving this at the moment. May as well get whatever was up there, though. Yeah, not seem like the plan of place you'd have an obvious shrine. Ha <laughs> Take that! And get out of here with you. Thank you. But this ought to be an old map or a sage's will here. Something, uh, very... Ah, straight... Okay, good. Something worth the trip, anyway. Like I was saying, all I wanted, really wanted to do was investigate this place right here. So I say we get on back to the ground, and let's try and investigate, uh... The ground for shrines. Whee! Starting with the closest one that we don't have. Uh, you. Let's go find you. Oh, we need to find... Oh, no. We, actually, what we should really do is start with the cherry blossom tree, because I think it's going to be necessary for a lot of the ones around here. So where is that? Uh, just northeast of the Lost Woods, uh, which is actually quite close to here. It's right near uh, this tier. Actually, let's just port over there. Or no. Maybe it's this that I marked with a person. Maybe I'll just fly there. Oh, yeah. I see it over there. Thank you! That's a lot of caves down there. Uh, but let's have a look-see. Matter of fact, actually, we maybe we should start from over here and, and work our way towards the mountain proper, because we have a bunch 
uh, available to us close by. Just put pins on like a whole bunch of the ones we don't have down here, like you. Got those five pins. Let's follow them uh, first and foremost. Yep, sure enough, there's a cave right here uh, below where we imagine. Wow, this tower shoots you up. Does this me or does this tower shoot you up like higher up than a bunch of the other ones do? Anyway, bet this cave's got our, where our first uh, shrine is. Let's have a look. We've seen a lot more recently that um, a bunch of the caves actually do have those little crystal quests in them, so I wouldn't be astonished to find one of those here. Yes, a shrine below me? That I could believe, my dear shrine tracker friend. Hello, birds. Oh, no, you're people. Sorry. <laughs> All right, sorry, I, I saw the glows were around here, but the actual, the actual cave is right over here. Hello. What? Just always seems to be, I happen to walk right into those at the exact moment that one of those is flying by, a horde of those. Seems, seems improbable somehow when you think about it. Ech! Let there be light. I need a rock. I need a rock. I need a rock for my sword. I found a rock. I found a rock. I found a rock for my sword. Go away, go away, go away right now. Oh, big hearty truffle. You don't say. What was this place called again? Uh, the, the Dapper Badlands? The De Deplian Badlands. I see. So we're in the Deplian Badlands cave here. So the Shrine Blinky clearly wants us to head this way, but I say we head this way because now I'm more interested in this way. Perhaps it meets up in a minute anyway here. Hey, yeah! Because it seems like these are a lot of twisty and turny. Oh, yeah, probably does. Probably just loops right around here. Hello, Bubble Frog. Or maybe it doesn't. Because of this. Hey, yeah! Sorry. That's 14 of those we got now, so we've got to be uh, able to get a pretty considerable amount. Hey, who's there? Why is there any music? Uh, from, uh, of stuff from Colton next time we see them. Uh, oh! You! I see. Uh, I see how that could be a thing that I should be apprised about with the music. Poof! Uh, no, wait, why didn't that work? Goodbye! Oh, hi! Hey, here, Silver! Uh, first of all, get down here. No, that wasn't a headshot. First of all, get down here, please, and then I'm gonna give a bit of a try with this whole thing here. Yeah, yonk! Yeah. Oh, man, I do love how the, uh, um, battle theme, uh, it carries on the thing from Breath of the Wild where, like, uh, there are, like, a few different progressions it can have depending on how the battle's going. You can get it, like, a bit more intense or maybe a bit more, uh, triumphant or whatever. It's a very, very cool... Just uh, whatever system it is that they've devised where the music does that is really cool. And I bet would have taken a lot of effort. Not to mention a lot of, you know, musical know-how. Still going on. Ah, because of you. Uh, help you. Hard. Gotcha. And then you get a nice one too. And I'll go for a bit of this now with the Captain Spear. It's probably also pretty badly damaged. Yes, so we're going to need a bunch of replacement weapons in a moment here. I'll use this horrible weapon that they had. <laughs> As a, as a, my big zero one right now. Oh, you stagger. It's weird. Because, like, the, the Silver Bacoblins, when they do their melee attack, they can't be staggered by yours, which is weird. So I assumed that one would work the same way, except just now I just friggin' dodged it. The, the rules are just all over the place. I have no idea how it works. Hey, let me just get this pointed stick on this. There we go. This will do one more damage now. We'll, we'll be here for slightly less long. Oh, you! Get get off the... No, get, get back down here. I wasn't done with... Oh, 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 oh. I didn't do the thing I was hoping for. There we go. That, that goodbye. <laughs> Our long stuck is probably a lot better than this thing, so let's get the, grab that, and maybe we put a... Well, there's a horrible horn on it, because we just got one. Works for me. Oh, yeah, we've got actually a bunch of things we need to fuse stuff to still here. Ah, don't. Pew! Pew. Oh, is there a chest in here? So there is. Because I think it only does that little, that little ending fanfare when there is one. Nice. Bouncy stick! <laughs> right, we've got now a, a, a gnarled stick unfused, Royal Hobbit, and two Royal Hobbits unfused, not to mention this thing, which I'm saving up for later. Well, oh, I don't know, I guess that there's not going to be anything better than Silver Lionel Saber Horn, probably, really. Not much, anyway. All right, nevertheless, uh, let's get three something goods on here. Well, I'll just do three uh, Silver Goblin Horns. The other thing, like, the Lizolfo Horn is, like, it's like, marginally better. I would say almost imperceptibly in a real big fight. And we do want to be kind of trying to balance it out and making sure we're not using all our uh, rarer uh, materials right away because they will be useful for crafting later. But we've got a Master Sword with a rock on it now, so let's be using that as our smashy thing. Grab a bunch of more materials from here, and then we'll grab that shrine and get out of here. I can see it uh, being a reward one or a not reward one. Oh, here it is. Considering the huge amount of enemies in this cave. Minotaur Shrine! I do love this uh, cave theme. It's just so, like, there's something... The, the, I don't know how to put it. That note, the way it kind of, like, it's almost raspy in quality. It gives me a bit of the vibes of that Minecraft track that I'm forgetting the name of. Is it Key, the one I'm thinking of? Where it's just this faintest whisper of, I know I've heard this sound quality before, and it gives this, it gives this eerie sort of nostalgia of like, am I remembering something long forgotten from my childhood that just like stuck with me? 
Or am I remembering, like, someone else's memories from a previous life? Like, that's the eerie, but soothing, like, v vibe it gives. Like, it, it has a vibe of, like, life and memory. This, the music that's playing right now, and that sort of instrumentation. The way they've put sort of a vibrato on that synthy kind of line. Anyway, just gorgeous. I love this cave shrine theme. I've got anyone locked in now, though, so I could teleport back there if I get lost in this cave in a minute. I love the way the amp the light... As you put lights around, it doesn't just make like a, a glow like a torch would, but there's ambient light that sort of fills the cave. The way they've done that is quite cool as well. Oh, this is weird. You can sort of see through here. I don't know what that's about. Like, because you can even... You can see it, like, the light sort of bends around the corner here, and, like, as I get closer... It's a bit more sort of full, whereas going here, it's it's much more dim. Because we're, we're far away from where any of the actual uh, Lebre 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 seeds uh, were planted. Anyway. Did another one spawn or something? Because this already happened, right? <laughs> or am I having deja vu? I didn't realize that was a thing that it could relock if more monsters showed up. Unless that was a different chest. Doubt it. Like, these torches are a perfect example. Like, the... I can see around them, but they don't offer light to the whole room in the same way that the Bright Whimsies do, which is cool that they're sort of different in that way. Forest Whisper, neat. It makes sense at the same time- oh, I probably don't have one of those in the book. It makes sense at the same time, though, that light- because light is a very important part of this game. I wouldn't necessarily say narratively, because, I mean, that- I, there's- there is some uh, importance of it narratively, I guess, but... There's a lot of the narrative of this game that I wouldn't say I understand the deeper meaning of if there is such a thing, so... To claim that it's it, mean, it means a lot to the narrative, I wouldn't say. A period, period, I wouldn't say. But it obviously, to, to the to the world you can explore, like, the depths and stuff, it makes a lot of sense that they would put that kind of effort into the lighting system. And it's just gorgeous, man. Uh, so one last peek around I'll have for any interesting loot or... or and then we'll get in that shrine and do it. And actually, that might be all the time we have for this episode. I did spend a fair bit of time doing... The rest of the exploration here, is this where that little crack we could see through was earlier? I wonder what that's about. I guess just so you could see the shrine and be like, Oh! I want to be there! Ah, no! There actually is a second chest over here. How interesting. Never seen that before. <laughs> I'll help you open it, Link! Don't worry! <laughs> Neat. Another weapon I'm not really um, desperate for. Cool, anyway. I haven't been to this little corner over here, clearly by the lack of light in the area. There's some luminous stones we can get. Open up! Oh, right, you don't can't do that with these ones. You have to wait till they attack first, and then they let their tongue out. Like that! Poke, 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 poke. This game is a lot of things, and I think, uh, um... Ooh, well, first I'll see in this chest before I say what I was about to say. Oh, it's all boomerang! Neat! Uh, we did already find one of those, right? But let me just make sure that it was this kind, and then I have it in the book. Yes. Anyway, what I was about to say is, um, I, you know, I, I don't agree with the design in every aspect of this game. As, at least as far as we are. But man, is it beautiful. There's no denying that. At least not for me. This game is, uh, has a, like, Breath of the Wild has a lovely aesthetic, and this game, um, I think, for the most part, it keeps to it, which is a good plan, uh, a plan as far as I'm concerned, because I very much like Breath of the Wild's aesthetic. It's sort of like a blend between Wind Waker and Skyward Sword, like, it's the midpoint between the two, I would say. And I, I think that's a very, I like that, <laughs> because I like the art styles of both those games. But they uh, really upped their lighting game in this one, and I uh, I really appreciate it. All right, into the shrine, let's do this. Sorry for this being a bit of a wandery and talky and rambly kind of episode, but since we're nearing the end, I just feel like, uh, I feel like I have a, a strong urge to take my time and really uh, sink my teeth into it and, and enjoy every aspect of it. And we are here at Rauru's Blessing. It seemingly like they considered all those fights enough of a trial to warrant a blessing here, so... Smashing through the boundaries of missing has found me! Can I stop the battery? Battery! I wish I could put that clip in the in the video without getting copyright destroyed, but um, I don't think it's an option. But that's a fourth blessing for us. And it is also where we will leave off this episode right here. So thank you so very much for coming around. Next video on the channel is going to be some more Fireman 3 Houses, our Vern Wind Assassins only run. So do look on out for... That's entirely wrong. It's more Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. So do look on out for that. And next time here, I'll be picking up the pace in uh, the uh, Death Mountain sort of region here. So hopefully I'll see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! Sorry. Oh. It's your birthday, please be okay. <laughs> ha ha!